Welcome back to the show, guys. Today we have someone very special. We've got someone who's known as Luna. What's happening, girl? Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. I actually feel so excited to be here. I have all my accoutrements. I've got a mug. Have you bought one? Um, oh, yeah. I've got my Stanley filled to the brim with ice and water. Duh. I've got my topicals. Okay. I've got my... What's with this whole camera trend? What's that okay. camera trend? Okay. See, there's a level of that comes with having a digital camera. Okay. And so, me, I'm there. Is it the same as the Polaroid thing? No, 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 completely different. This feels retro. It feels very like early 2000s. True. Like it's kind of grainy, but you still look great. True. I also have two shots. Okay, so we're starting off with shots. All right, jello shots, I believe. You said. Yes, jello like shots. Jello. Okay. Right. I've dumped in this behind me. Introduce your son before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doms. He's moving my life. Okay, and this Can is my son. If Luna would stop exciting him. Sorry. Are you? No. You say no, he's growling. Anyway, Luna has her son. His name is And this is, is my Dumplin. son, Dumpling. You guys know him. I swear he's usually really well behaved. He just doesn't get out much. And he's one years old next month. And so, you know, we're dealing with a lot of teenage hormones. The mums get it. Okay. All right. So we're starting off with shots. Jello shots. Can I get a rum? What's rum? Yeah. What is um, it? This is like dark rum. This is coconut rum. Big up my auntie Suzette for bringing these to okay. my house. All right, let's go. Mazel tov. Wait, how did you get no ASMR with you? This is nice. Yeah. Strong though. I can feel it. Strong. Where did you get these? <laughs> <laughs> my aunt made them. Your aunt made them? Mm. Wow. Auntie, big up yourself. This is interesting. All right. So we are starting off with uh, some memes. Now, Luna, you're a very spicy girl, as I know you. Right? You, <laughs> always, you always have something to say. So I've sent you a bunch of memes that I found that I thought would be pretty appropriate for you. Oh my God, so then go through them and tell me what you think. Okay. The first level of crosses Simon Tomo gave me. Be her priest, bro. She already can't see without her glasses. I never look to a man for peace. Because my thing is, why can't you, like, why your eyes don't work? Okay, well. Mm. All right, next. Uh, I never had to wear braces. Fair play. Thank you. Okay. Um, girl, tell me, the thrill this shot just, wait, no. Okay, I promised my job I can read. Okay, the thrill this just shot through my system. This is what I live for. If someone says girl, okay, first of all, I would also like, I would also like to say that a girl is gender neutral. Every time I'm having a conversation with a man lately, and I'm like, girl. And Every time like, you talk to me, you say girl. No, because girl is gender neutral. Every time you talk girl to me, girl is say gender girl. neutral, and everybody wants to be up in arms. And if just in a little kiki, somebody calls you a girl, and you get upset, baby, you've got more to be upset about them. I might think you know me. I love the tea. No, but actually, I love, I love when there's I like a, I like a, I like a drama. Or sometimes I'm like. Oh my god, I have something to tell you. And yeah, he's like, I said, what? tell me more. You no, mean, you have, you have something to tell me. I said, wait, hold on. Let's set the room. No, let me clear my throat. Let me grab yeah. my drink and my lip balm. I've got a lot to say. Yeah, okay. Okay, when your man asks you what's wrong, but you can't even say anything because it's about your other man, I'm reformed. <laughs> <laughs> I, what do you mean by you're reformed? I'm reformed. I, one man, you know what I'm saying? Okay. This is a family friendly. If you know the song, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well done well done okay i know i'm funny but sometimes i'm like damn i might be going to hell hey i have never been somebody that manages cold temperatures so yeah but you see you know me because you... if i said the first thing that came to my mind all the time oh. i feel like i say the second thing that comes to my mind people think it's the first it's I, not i think i have to skip to like option six Options. Option seven. No. You know, you know me. Yeah, if but I, I don't have. That comes to my mind. I'm cancelled immediately. More time. I think we should all speak our mind. I feel like that's why the world is the way that it is right now. That's why a lot is going wrong. We also all true. need to say what we think more often. I'm not skipping to the sixth thing. You're getting the second thing. Okay. Sometimes some of us. I don't want to say grow up. Very fair. Very fair. Okay. That was the last one. Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh my gosh. There's a lot. Yeah. Okay. I'm just a girl is a perfectly valid excuse for anything and everything. That's your excuse for everything. I did not create the patriarchy. That's your excuse for everything. I did not create the patriarchy. This whole, this whole, I'm just a girl. Baby, you, you created a system. I'm just trying to support you, so I'm just a girl. There's nary a thought in this head unless it suits me. <laughs> it suits you. That's 
toxic behavior. It's Next. the same way how I can, I'm really going to follow in instructions when I'm ready. Next. <laughs> my two main personalities are, yes, daddy, put me in my place and don't tell me what to do. First of all, my parents might watch this. I call my actual dad, daddy. Ah, never said that in my life. Ah. Not to the next man. Next. Not to the man. No. Ah, <laughs> never. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Sorry. When you can't be the princess in the relationship because it's 2024 and men want to be the princess. Absolutely. <laughs> Somebody in the in background, a... a man just made a affirming sound to that that is so embarrassing men used to build roads <laughs> men used to have tools so i can men be- used to have a little bass in their voice you're saying look I at them now with a little fade you. look, look at them over here wearing the color purple bring back i'm not saying bring back misogyny but bring back real n-word men okay but i also do understand that with men being men i can't like cook or bake very well but i order really really well so if you do the man's job of making the little, I'll do my job and order very well. Okay. Um, well, that's not very in love with me of you. Exactly, because if you loved me, you'd do it. So you hate me. Okay. You're so pretty. It's a pity you're insane. Well, Albert Einstein was a genius and also insane. We all have our pros and cons. <laughs> I don't know. Hearing don't start gives me a thrill. It, it literally makes me go. I feel like, I feel like you, you as a person, <laughs> if if I ever said Bruno don't start, you would look at me like. This would be me. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Power me up. Yeah. yeah. My bad. That's, you said don't start, so now I have no option but chaotic. to start. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Don't be a catalyst if you don't want to see a reaction. Oh my days. Ooh, okay. come on, women in STEM. <laughs> I'm attracted to men, but at what cost? I've actually, let me get comfortable. I've been saying this my whole life. Come on, dumps. I am bound by the shackles of heterosexuality. This is, this is not a choice, baby girl. I would not be here. Luna, get your son to not bite the microphone. He might. No, he's agreeing with me. He's like, yeah, absolutely. Who's attracted to men? <laughs> Girls be like, why are you mad? Because, because what? Figure it out. No, but it's true because we were both in the same situation. Actually, no, like I said, I'm reformed. So I'm not that bad at it. I love how you caught yourself. No, okay. I love how you caught yourself quick. No, because I I'm love just... how you you went toxic and then said, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Because no, no. no. I Come have back. to give both sides. Yeah. The the Dr. Jekyll side of me is saying, you know, sometimes people just don't get it. Sometimes people are slow. Fun fact, in Jamaica, the literacy rate between men and women is drastic. So it's understandable that sometimes he's not gonna understand. But on the other hand, we were in the same room, we were in the same conversation. Where were you? I wasn't following. I didn't have the same issues that you had. On to the next man. One more. Last one. Okay. I hate when a man says, my treat. Like, whose else treat would it be, dummy, the next man? Because, or actually, you know, I also earn. Exactly. It exactly. won't be my treat, though. Why not? Pay for something. Yeah. Like what? What do you think? There are birthdays. Um, on the night out, after you've gotten all the liquor and drinks, I'll get the water. Um, all right, guys, welcome uh, to Luna. Grandma's welcome only like to $50 Luna. a bag. Like. <laughs> oh my days. Okay, thank you so much for that. That was interesting to hear your takes on those. You're welcome. Okay, all right, guys, so welcome back to the show. Um, you guys know how it is. We start off with something fun. I do have a question for Luna. I have a question of the day. I'm going to make sure that we get it done because I always forget. All right, so Luna, your question of the day. Ready? Mm hmm. What do you think about on a regular basis, but your morals stop you? Let me ask you one more time. What do you think about on a regular basis, but your morals stop you? I have my answer right away. Um, oh, on a good day or a bad day? Anyone you choose? On a bad day, a little arson. <laughs> no, but like, because I think it's impactful, it's powerful, it gets the job done, and it, it, you, you'll never forget. On Indian a good jail. day, yeah. That's moral, your moral stop it. That was the question. Okay. But then on a good day, it's not like I ne- like I don't want to die or anything, but it's like, what would happen if you just drove into traffic? That's an interesting thought. <laughs> That's an interesting thought. That has to be an interesting thought. What was yours? Mine has to be what stops me, but because of what, well, what morals has stopped me from doing it? Yeah. My OnlyFans. Okay, yeah, that's also another thing. 
I strongly believe, I strongly believe if I started my OnlyFans, I would have made so much money. I yeah. don't mean, no, I mean back in the day, 2020. Yeah. The OnlyFans was What were you doing during the pandemic? Not enough, apparently. Yeah. Not enough. For real. That's my thing. Yeah. It, my moral stopped me to the point where, I, like, it... The, the time for OnlyFans, OnlyFans passed. Uh-huh. And you I think? Was just like, I was just like... No, said, people are still... No, people are making, like, foot content no, now. On, Let me see on. your feet. So I t- don't look at my feet. Okay. I told, <laughs> I told Tanya. I was like, yo, what if I had made my OnlyFans? She said, what's the OnlyFans? I tried to explain to her what OnlyFans was. She oh, said, I would have brought up a demo and showed my parents. I've told my parents about that. No, but she, my, the thing is, I thought she would have been like, no, you could never do that. She was like, so why didn't you? Okay, so said, wow. your mother is never allowed to retire. She needs a backup plan. I got your back, Tanya. Don't worry, girl. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. I think there's still time. I think you could do it. People are making money off feet right now. A guy paid me to touch my feet the other day, you know? And I was like, this is something I should get into. <laughs> hey. 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 I think we might want a quick story time on Okay, so I was with my friend Angel, Hair by Angel Lee. She does hair. You guys should book her. And we were just, you know, chatting, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And then somebody, this guy comes in, and I know said man. My friend doesn't know said Angel doesn't know said man. And he's like, oh, what's up? And I, like, low-key know he's a fan, but, like, whatever. You get very jaded to the whole experience. You know, it's like, whatever. But I wasn't expecting, like, he's normally, like, I wouldn't say weird, but he's unique. And so I was, like, not. In what way? What do you mean? Like, you're unique. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just, like, not in, like, the most positive way. I'm unique. We're all unique. Anyway, so he comes in, and I had my feet up like this, right? Okay. No, focus on the story. You're getting I this. Looked at you. I went right to you. Right, Sorry. so yeah. I had my feet up like this. And toes are freshly done, mind you. Don't look right now, because they're not fresh. Okay. And he was like, oh my God, you've got really nice feet. And this was like before I was reformed. So I was like, yeah, tea. Like, anyway. And anyway, anyway. And then he was like, oh, like, can I touch him? And I was like, sure, you have to pay me for it. And then he like proceeded to like open his wallet, and there was no money in there, so he checked his account. And then he was like, okay, I'll be right back. And I was like, word? And he was like, yeah. He was like, how much? And I was like, something light, like a gun. You know, because I didn't think he would actually do it. So he got in his car, crossed this, or he walked across the street to go to the ATM, came back, and then was like, uh, here's the cash. And I was like, uh, here's the foot. And then I was like, do you want to like rub it or do you want me to touch you with it? Like, what's the vibes? And he was like, oh no, I just want to touch it. So then he literally just went like this to my foot. And then he was like, oh, I got to put it down. I might get too excited. And I was like, that's interesting. Uh. Yeah, like fully, 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 fully. And then I put my foot down and then we just went about the conversation. And then my friend was like, wait, what? Did I just really see that? And I was like, yeah. She was like, wait, he touched your feet? And I was like, yeah. And then I went like this. I was like, you want to touch him again? And he was like, and then, yeah. And it's so awkward because I know his girlfriend. Lol. Anyway, (laughs) live, love, laugh. I, I didn't see this coming. Yeah. I didn't pe- look at me. I didn't <laughs> see this coming. People are weird. Okay. All right. I well. got dumpling. I got dumpling actually because of a footman. Yeah. Huh. Hey. I would. Hey, hey, there are unique people in this world. Let me tell you that right now. All right. Well, I um, I don't know where to go with that story. So I'm just gonna <laughs> move on with the show. I'm just gonna keep it going. All right. You okay? <laughs> Quick break in the video, guys, because as usual, we have to say thanks to Choice Business Solutions for giving us our beautiful recording space. And if you do not know by now, Choice Business Solutions is your outsourcing partner for all things who handles everything HR related, payroll, recruitment and contract management. Focus on what you do best. Let us focus on your people. Back to the episode. All right. So we have some questions to ask you, Luna. First of all. Your name is not actually Luna. Your name is Alexandria Rodriguez. <laughs> Plot twist. Right? With so, a Q and an S, not a G and a Z. So my first question is, even though I know your name, obviously, mm-hmm. is it, would, would it be bad if I said Rodriguez? Because that's like G. Yeah, and as a Z. Rodriguez. Yeah. It's Rodriguez. Yeah. I feel like, as I said before, literacy, like the children can't read. You know what I'm saying? So if you see a Q, that makes the K sound. If you see a G, that makes the G sound wow so if you see rodriguez with a q and an s it goes k 
Rodriguez. All right, I think we got this. Mm-hmm. I think we got this. I'm just okay. making sure. So those watching may not know that we work together. Yeah, gang, right? gang, gang, gang. You have, you're in the newsroom. Mm-hmm. I'm a uh, personality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Loose on the personality. I'm a personality. You work in the newsroom. Mm-hmm. You do a lot of artist interviews. Mm-hmm. Um, who do you think has been your favorite artist to interview so far? Ooh. You did something recently with the baby, which is huge. Yeah, that was really cool. But you've also done a lot of like you own like you you specifically go after like a reggae artist. Yeah, I go for a lot of like fusion reggae artists, a lot of the new wave artists. Mm-hmm. Um Okay, I'm very lucky in the sense that like I am Jamaican. I was born here. I left here when I was seven, but I have this kind of like insider outsider perspective. And I feel like when you're in the Jamaican like bubble, you don't really see how extraordinary the art that is coming out of this country is. And so you left at you left at seven. Yeah. Where did you go? I went to America for about five years, and then I went to Indonesia for six years, and then in my Last year in Indonesia, my family moved to Rwanda, and then after that, I moved to Canada. My sister moved to Kenya, and then five years ago... Everywhere. Yeah, we all moved back here, and then when we all moved back here, my dad moved to Liberia, and now I'm the only one here. My sister's in America, my mom's in Trinidad, and my dad's in Afghanistan. Oh my days. Yeah. Okay. But like, in terms of artists, I think the baby was a really, really cool experience, because like, you said, you know, he's a foreign artist, it's exciting, it's... A big deal, but mm-hmm. I think like local artists that I've like dumpling. Why are you shouting, bro? Sorry, guys, my son's a little needy. He's a Virgo, you know the vibes. Virgo men are. Don't say that. I'm a Virgo. Don't say Virgo men are needy. We're not needy. Go on. Go, go on, <laughs> artists. Yeah. Um, Joby J was a really pleasant experience because she's so incredibly talented, but also so incredibly professional. And it was just really cool seeing the mind of somebody who is so determined to succeed. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hold on. I didn't give you back your light. My pink light. Bring it back. Bring it back. And then I think somebody else that was really cool to talk to, just in terms of like how insightful they were, Mortimer was really cool. I like Mortimer. Mortimer having, was cool. Having him in studio that one time I was there with him, he's a cool guy. I yeah. Like, I, like he, I like his like I like his his person. I guess yeah, like. his vibes. Like he he was very, very cool. Yeah. Um I'm, I just brought my Instagram, you guys. Stay tuned with Luna, check me out. Anyway. Um <laughs> she <laughs> when said, I look, stay tuned with Luna, that's her profile. Yeah, stay yeah. tuned with Luna. When I look at back at the page um yeah those were probably the really cool ones somebody who surprised me um was pablo yg he's really young and he only speaks in patwa and i don't know if you can tell by the accent my patwa was not so strong okay <laughs> couldn't tell that so oh, there was like a little bit of like a language barrier really uh, truly like actually a language barrier in yeah. the interview but it was interesting because I think we don't credit enough the people who only speak Patwa. They've got a lot to say. You just have to be willing to understand what they have to say. Okay. And that was a young man who surprised me because he was very clearly about, I know where I'm from. I know the potential of the people of where I'm from in terms of what kind of, let's use the word employment, we tend to get into. I now have this opportunity to do something different. How am I going to change the narrative for the people in my community? That's cool. You have to rate that, you okay. know? I think it's a very, I love my job, actually. I think it's a very cool experience. I think okay, it's- Okay, so actually, that's my next question. Yeah. What is the favorite part of your job? So in the newsroom, you mm-hmm. do a lot of, you do like the official reporting, like- Yeah, people, news, sports, and entertainment yeah, people, news. people look at your department without knowing, you, you do zip info. They yeah. look at your department as, or information source. That's yeah. very important, like news, things that we need to know i mean it's not hard-hitting news like some of the other media houses but it's still important you know yeah we've got a different demographic and the news still needs to reach this demographic and we also do this thing called zip trust which is like a five minute feature Mm -hmm. um and that can either be like my recent feature was like a double part feature with um minister kamina johnson smith and it focused on the jamaica diaspora conference and i feel like a lot of zips following lives in the diaspora like they yeah. were born here raised here went to high school here migrated and so i think it's important that we keep in touch in that way and i grew up in the diaspora so you know okay so again you so you what is your favorite part because you do the whole you do the newsroom yeah. you do a lot of artist stuff you do different shows you're now hosting events for yourself yeah. what's your favorite part of working in media um i think it's cool to in real time be a part of the next generation 
Um, I have a lot of respect for a lot of the older heads in media and in entertainment and in like the music industry, but it is really cool seeing artists in their like growing stage. And Mm -hmm. that's where a lot of these young artists are right now. It's really cool seeing them find their sound. It's really cool seeing them find their look, their rhythm, their fan base. And I enjoy the fact that they give me the opportunity to give them a platform, you know, because I mean, there's social media now. You really don't need media or traditional media as much as you did it. I mean, it still plays a role. I'm not going to... Please don't take... No, it plays a role. Don't take my job, Social media is the the new thing. It's how we all digest It's a new thing, but a lot of people are still hearing music from the radio. When you go into certain stores, the taxi men, the bus drivers, you know? I think working at Zip made me realize that, of course, growing up the way that we grew up, Mm -hmm. we grew up on social media. So we've... Our generation has been around from the start of social media yeah. and we understand social media and how it works, all the platforms and everything. So you would think that you don't need radio as much because you have your listening platform. Yeah, you've got your TikTok, you've you got your, your TikTok, Spotify, you've Instagram, got SoundCloud, YouTube, Insta, YouTube. You have everything. Truthy. So you would think that I don't need radio. You do. But my thing is, so you, you kind of... You kind of underestimate how much people listen to radio. Yeah. And to be fair, I'm guilty of the same thing. Yeah. Right? Because when I started working at Zip, I was just like, I didn't listen to radio that much. Like, I know Zip from my high school days. Like, yeah. When, pretty much when Zip just started. Mm-hmm. Because I knew Chrome and Liquid and Johnny and them. Mm-hmm. But I hadn't listened to radio in a while. Right? Wow. I was but coming then, in as, I only knew the Zip advert that was like, I'm inside the radio. Yeah, that's the like jingle. that's all yeah. right. That's all I really knew from Zip. Like I don't listen to radio. I love having full control yeah. over everything I'm listening but the to. Thing is working at Zip, and the amount of people I, I've lost count. The amount of people mm-hmm. that come to me like on the road on a random day, and they're just like, "Yo, I listen to your radio." Yeah, I said, "Really?" The amount of my my friends' parents that have been like, "Oh, I heard you," yeah. or da 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 da. What or... gets me because I'm a sucker for for the younger generation. Mm-hmm. Kids have my heart. When a parent comes to me and say, "Yo, my child, him can't drive to school if him don't hear Una talking yeah. and everything," you know? I'm just like, "Pick up the three really? kings." Like, yeah, really. So yeah. it when you said that, um, that it's speaking about generations of people who are going to be who will know you because of doing this, it blew my mind when I realized, wow. Um, a, a huge part of what's missing in the entertainment industry right now is development of your craft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if we look at where we are right now and Tomo's setup, this is not where like Tomo TV and his brand was a couple of years ago. And I feel like a lot of young artists right now, because of like the prevalence of social media, they're not realizing that you need that development in your artistry. Yeah. And part of that is being media trained. I've had some people come to me and their music is great. They cannot string together a coherent thought. And the funny thing is, the reason I can do this is because I'm so well trained from Zip. So Zip has actually trained me to do this yeah. in a way. I mean, like Zip, I think, honed my skills. I'm very fortunate to have gone to the kind of schools I went to growing up. And my parents work in a certain industry, so you get... So you're familiar. Yeah, you know, you get trained from a certain age to speak a certain way, operate a certain way in certain rooms, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. But I think... What I've gained a lot from Zip is there are a lot of older heads, like you said, like Chrome, like Sparks, like Rain in the newsroom, like Sapphire, who Mm -hmm. Sapphire is, she's taught me so much about just how to operate in the entertainment industry. I cannot show enough gratitude. For sure. You know what I mean? It is a very hard industry. People are very mean. You know, it helps if you're wearing a cute little outfit and you've got a little accent and whatever, but people are still very mean. If you know the ins and outs, it makes life so much easier. It it makes life a lot easier. And when you've got someone that's like, this is how I approach it, you can take these approaches, but you've got to find out what works for you yeah. i think a lot of us don't remember like it, it, it takes time you can't just up and you're a superstar which yeah. is why you see certain people right now their careers are flopping yeah. hard like you need the media this training is, this you... is one thing that i will well one of many things because i think our boss trains us very well mm-hmm. because i've been to other radio stations where i'm just like oh why are you not doing that oh i don't know how mm-hmm. they're not trained to the other things that zip employees are trained to and this is actually thing, my second station and i can tell you that zip yeah. trains you to be a well-rounded to be media everything. person you can do everything yeah the only but, thing i don't know how to do right now is dj yeah and hey like hey sometimes you know 
me and see you like this. Yeah. Like this. You know what I'm saying? Hey. But like there's yeah. still the opportunity to learn, you know? Yeah. Like even though I don't DJ, like it's still important for me to know like what's hot in music, who's hot in music, where is the next thing you in music? Remember remember my first time I had to DJ? Yeah. And you helped me with my oh bass. my god. Yeah. Tama was so quick nervous, you quick guys. Quick story time. Quick story time. Oh so my god. we working at Zip, you again have to be well rounded. Mm-hmm. I had no experience in playing music. I, I knew some songs obviously, you know, just in life. But I didn't know how to play music, like to yeah. count the beats and to hear different rhythms. And to clarify, when you have the aux and you're with your friends, it's a very different vibe to when you're on radio. Oh, yeah. You're not playing the full song. Oh, yeah. You have and to be doing worse, the math to Zip, figure out. Zip is what? The party station. Yeah. So you're not just playing songs, you're mixing music. Mixing music. And also there's segments. I don't think people register this. Yeah. There's 30 second genre 30 minutes, segment. 30, 30 minutes. Segments, yeah, yeah, 30 minute segments. And so you have to be thinking, okay, what am I going to next? How is this going to yeah. transfer well? What are people listening to now versus yeah. what's the vibe it, it is so much mm-hmm. so the first time when they said we have nobody else to do this shift we need somebody to do this shift you're doing this shift i said ah oh, i know i know maybe five songs mm-hmm. i know maybe five songs can i do it like no you need to have at least 20 songs per segment and you have six segments i said huh mm-hmm. okay Luna came in and she was helping me yeah. pick out songs. To no, play. because I was like, when it comes to like rap and hip hop, baby, I got you. Yeah. I got your back. Yeah. Okay. Like I can't yeah. help you with the soca, but I got you. And because I'm like, have a little faith in yourself. I feel like that's what I had no faith in no, myself. No, like I feel like a lot Zero. of us young people don't realize a lot of the older heads flopped hard. Boy. Before they got to where they are right now. But yeah, so you helped with my first show. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Real. No, but you did great though. And did now I? like I'm coming in in the morning shift fighting for my life, mind you, at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> and I see Tomo there in studio at 6 a.m. And he's going away. And I'm like, wow, look how nervous you were a couple months ago. Now you do this like it's light work. Light Fox. work. Fox. It's crazy. It's crazy. Guys, hone your craft. Work yeah. on your skill. All right. Well, thank you for answering those questions. That was fun. Yeah. Was cute. Right. yeah. Okay. So last but not least, we have our final segment. And this is actually Luna's segment, Alex's segment. And we're doing a version of, what would you call it? Do or drink? Say it or shot it. Say now, it or shot it. Okay. I will always give people credit where it's due. Mm-hmm. This show, Inspo, came from this white woman that works at KISS, this UK-based media station. It's called Say It or Shot It. Okay. Her name is, I think it's Chloe. Funny thing is, I know, I know there's a, I don't, I don't remember her name, Homegirl. I'm so sorry, but I know your content. There's a girl that does like a daytime drink show. I know she had on she had Matt Matt Camps on one time. I don't remember. Oh, oh, oh um 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 day drinking with Ashley Sage. Ash Ashley Sage, that's her name? Ashley Sage. Yeah, I, I hope it's Ashley Sage. That's familiar. Ashley yeah. Sage. I th- I Ashley Sage think or Ashley Sage. It. Hold on, let me tell you. Yeah. I wanna tell you exactly because um yeah, I don't want to get that. I don't want to get that wrong for you. But yeah, she yeah, does. Yeah, day drinking with Ashley Sage. She does do a right? yeah, this girl. She does do a version of that. I'm yeah, making sure to her. bring up my phone because, like I said, all of us young people in entertainment and media, if you get the opportunity to plug somebody, plug somebody. Yeah, okay? for sure. Same girl. Yeah. They drink with Ash. That's yes. the profile. It'll I think be, her show is good. Suggestion, my girl, bring on a co-host. Some Why? shows do by yourself. Some shows do with somebody else. You know, sometimes I, it helps to bounce something off someone else. To be fair, I've watched, yeah. I've watched one episode. I watched one with Matt. Mm-hmm. And I liked it. I, don't yeah. know, I didn't watch it anymore. But I do know she does something like this. I think some shows are good with one person. You know, like how you have two people on sometimes. Just, Three. Yeah, like it helps to bounce things off other people. You okay. Know, cool. All right. So what's the what's the rules of the game? We we'll have to okay. you ask questions. Um, can I, Scott? Please bring the beverages. Oh wow! So actually, we're doing legit shots. Yes. So this is all oh my days. So you guys, we've got. Appleton Estate signature oh, rum. Hey, no free promo. We're not promoing this. What do you mean? Okay, we've also got red wine and mango okay. liqueur. So we we'll have, we'll have rum, wine, and wine. And liqueur. Rum, <laughs> wine, and liqueur. Mango liqueur. Okay, mango liqueur. Yeah. I was trying to do a little promo. Ain't no free promo on this show. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so we what do we do? Are we like? Um, we need the drink. We need the cups, please, for the shots. Are we? Are we? Do we get to select which one we have to take? Okay. Wait. No. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I'll tell you the rules of the games. Welcome to Stay Tuned with Luna featuring Simon Tomlinson. And today we're going to be answering questions. You either have to answer the question. If you don't want to answer the question because you're lame, okay. then you have to take a shot. Okay. 
It's nothing too crazy. I've got like 10 questions here. It's nothing too crazy so because... 10 questions. 10 questions. All right, so I only have five. So what we're going to do is I will... We'll go back to back for yeah. the first five. And then we'll do a speed round for you. The next five is a speed round for me. Yeah. Okay, all right. It's nothing crazy. You know, I still want to make sure he can get work. It feels kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, so my first question for Tomo. Okay. What is the most outrageous DM you've ever gotten? Oh, easy. And from who? I, I don't, I actually don't know from who. Okay, Does what that we, matter? No, that's fine. There was a person and they sent me a video of themselves uh, shirtless. Okay. And saying, I just want to know what you trying to get into because you cute or whatever. <laughs> I, I saw the video, I was just like, uh, That would make me kick my feet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, Did you answer? I, what are you no, trying to get I, into? I promptly deleted it. Okay, boring. Whatever. Sorry. Boo. Sorry. Okay. Mine okay. for you, ready? My question for you. What is your boyfriend's name? Uh, wait. <laughs> His name is Ryan. There's so many Ryans in this world. That's a very popular name. In I didn't think you were going to answer that. I thought I had that one in a... Wow. Okay. All right. Go. Okay. Um, what's the biggest check you've ever said no to? How much was it? And who was the company? Uh, it was... I, I won't say which company it was. Boo. <laughs> you can take a sip of your drink then. I took a sip for that. All okay. right. I tell us how much. was close to a million why'd you say no because it didn't line up with my like social media wise it didn't line up with my family style content for real okay. so i couldn't say no. yes to that one that's sad though yeah have you gotten anything close to that since uh yeah a couple okay, okay slay Look that at one you. that one would have been like a way easier one mm -hmm. but yeah Mm -hmm. Okay, see that kids have morals and standards. Yeah, remain Focus. broke. All right. Um, Nobody said that. Uh, sorry. Uh, ready? For, ready? Yeah, ready. Who is your favorite coworker? Hey, Betty, Betty, shot o'clock. <laughs> Betty, Betty, shot o'clock. Go on. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I literally felt it in my nostrils. Yeah. I told you it's so yeah. Dead. I took a sip of mine and that was murder. God. Next question. Your turn. Who agreed to that? You. Oh you actually brought it. I know. My okay. bad. Like, <laughs> okay. Are you more likely to be on OnlyFans selling nudes or feet pics? Nudes. Easy. Okay. I thought this was a classy party. My no. bad. What about feet pics? There's no guy with feet pics. No. Let me see your feet. No. Okay. That's why I They're in Crocs, you guys. Really embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. The rest of us are wearing real shoes here. All right. Next one. Ready? Yeah. Get rid of one. Okay. Meg the Stallion or Sexy Red? Okay. Somebody in the background whispered Sexy Red. <laughs> and all I want to say is... <laughs> some respect on my girl's name, okay? Just because she can't sell out a tour. You hear what I mean? I just feel like... Watashi wata. You can't put too bad against each other i abstain from answering drink you said Leo Brown. drink easy this was this is, you, i wasn't ready before she got here i got ready on spot light work light work she's off key soon. hey pour some more you're taking more don't worry <laughs> it's not off key if you get in the right vibe okay it's <laughs> pour more you're gonna take more let's go ah! your turn who agreed to this? Okay. What's the rudest celebrity or well-known personality interaction you've had? All right. Can we get a hell yeah from the crowd? Woo! Anyway. Yeah, that one, that story I can't do. Two guys in the background didn't even say hell yeah. All right. Oh, mercy. Huh? Oh, should we do a different shot? 
anything but that, Mr. Bannis. Yeah. Really? Okay, we can do the mango. This is heinous work. Try the mango liqueur. This should be sweeter. I don't like mango. <laughs> then it is wine. Oh. That's weird. Okay. Okay, your turn. I took mine. Jesus, have mercy. Okay, you ready for this one? Yeah. This one? This one got upset you. Oh my god, why am I nervous? So you, you know the three kings, right? Okay. Who are the three kings? <sighs> Tomo, Vibes, and Zess. Okay. <laughs> oh god, I'm already like... You ready? Should I just literally walk into traffic? Because I'll do it. You ready? Sex, marry, kill. Three kings. Shot. Shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about it, but you know you don't want to answer. Take the shot. I don't want to answer, but I don't want to drink. So <laughs> I am like actually <laughs> having an existential crisis right now. Yeah. I got time. Which one would I kill? Who would you kill? Girl, who am I gonna? <laughs> <laughs> No, because exactly. I am. Very and then I already know the one who I said that I'd. Take the shot. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> okay. All right. Your turn. Woo! How are you feeling? You good? <laughs> I am so proud of myself. You wouldn't believe because I struggle to find these questions. Okay. <laughs> I thought I got him, people. <laughs> I didn't have him. I have one more for you. Though. Let's go. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want to laugh. Go. Which social media personality do you think is the biggest catfish? Jamaican or just overall? This is the land of my birth. Jamaican. You better focus on local. <laughs> Pinky's up. Mm. No, because what could he say really? You know what I'm saying? That would have been delectable if you answered though. <sighs> Let me see your cup. Do you need a refill? Yeah. Oh. Got your back. Don't worry. So Luna's gonna fire off her next five. Hopefully, I have none to un well, none to drink for. I'll hopefully <laughs> answer all of them. Okay. All right. So speed run for me. Let's go. What's the juiciest secret you've been told since you got into the entertainment industry? Whose woman is giving them bun? You know, funny enough, I know the answer to that question. That's not the juiciest. The yeah, juiciest would have to be is it's not just the who men. is somebody's surgeon. I know that. Gag. That, yeah, that to me is. Gag. Yeah, can yeah, I yeah. hear? I'll tell you off camera. Wait, can you? I'll tell you off camera. No, but like, I want to. I'll wanna, tell you when the microphone's not recording. I want. Can I'll it tell you, I'll tell I you cover when it? I'll tell you when there's no. Can I guess? There's no possibility of proof. I'll tell you. Okay, wait. Can I guess who the who the person getting the surgery is though? No. Is it somebody who looks like they've had surgery? No. They don't look like they've had surgery. I am answering no question. God, I hate Plead a diplomat. The fifth. So annoying. Plead the fifth. The little media training did him so well. How Next. irritating. Okay, fine. How much money did you make as a professional table tennis player? Not enough. Real. That's real. Okay. Who is the most well-known person's contact you have, and will they answer if you call them right now? Oh, gag? I wonder who that could be. Is it because they wouldn't answer or because you don't want to say whose number you have? Both. Okay, gag part two. I'm curious. Both. Can you tell me? Off camera. Whisper it this way. Go like this. No. They can't tell. Mm -hmm. Can you tell? Scott, look at You can tell what I'm saying right now? Yeah. Oh. No. Well, mm. Which company or person has asked to collab with you, but you turned them down? <laughs> Give me more. Oh. <laughs> Give me more. And then, which well-known person do you pretend to like but actually have no interest in? None. None? I don't pretend to like anybody. Okay, so you're just real authentic. If, I mean, yes, but if I don't like you, you wouldn't know I don't like you. 
I'm not one of those people that fans. Like, I have it, something to tell you guys. I don't know what the Tamil squad no, hold is on, called. Hold on, hold on. Let me but I actually have to defend, defend you. first. Let me defend first. You defend know, first. in the office, if, we have on, a running wait. joke where you know you've done something well if Tamil likes your content. Because one thing about this nigga, he's stingy with the likes, he's stingy with the comments. So you know you've done something well if he does a little dip, dip, double tap. So I believe him. That's facts. That's facts. Guys, I'm just saying. I don't I know. I'll be eating your fruit loops. No, like you need to. The girly pops, no. First of all, I'm a pescatarian. I'm already behind the game, girl. I don't eat meat. Second of all, I only just started eating bread again. There's a lot of carbs I don't consume. Now, when you're drinking and you don't want to answer certain questions, you need some carbohydrates to line the tummy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that one, you're not on your head top by the end of the night. That's also why I wore tight pants to be remembered. Alex, you're drinking. Fair. Gather yourself. Fair. And two, continue. Okay. All right. Was that your last one? No, yeah. That was it? Yeah, yeah. That's how we're going to end it, guys. Wait, you had one more but... question for me. No, no, no. You won. Okay. That's it. Can I just out of curiosity know your last question? It was going to be name the last three men you've been involved with. Give it a whole. Yeah. Okay, great. So. <laughs> that's are you going insane to be, i'm sorry that's gonna be an episode guys we are done for the day thank you so I'm much i'm sorry do you guys on. remember that episode of game of thrones or what's her name the white lady with who was sleeping with her brother was walking through the streets and they were like shame 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 that's you the way how tama wanted that to happen to me just now hello <laughs> i will sooner die you will sooner catch Dumbling walking across... Actually, he does that very often. You will sooner catch me walking across the streets in downtown butt naked before <laughs> you hear me saying the... L- Hello. Okay, good talk. All right, guys. That's how we're going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more. We have more episodes coming out. And yeah, it's been fun having you guys. It's... Wow, I can't speak. It's been fun having you guys here. We're going to end it for the night, for the day. <laughs> Dumpling, we're done, bro. Guys, like and subscribe. We're out of here. Dumpling. This was really cute. Hey. This was really fun. Come here. Come here, baby. Come. Come here. I know. All my right, Virgo man. Now. Guys, this was really cute. Tomo, thank you so much for having me. I love this. Check out my Insta. It's at Stay Tuned with Luna. Catch me using my radio voice, you guys. How funny is that? This was fun. I love the idea I'm of this. Luna. And uh, that's a it. Everything you need to know every hour on the hour. Dumpling, say bye. Same, bro. Profound. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> do the choice real quick. What do we do? No, you're, you're finished. Yeah. Work. <laughs>